What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the newest version of God Mode 9 1.2.8. You could also use 1.2.7 for this as they have the same scripting features to make a sysnand backup as well as how to restore an old sysnand backup. Keep watching guys. start us off, on your 3DS hold the start button while powering on the device. This will either bring you into God Mode 9 or Luma Chain Loader if you have more than one dot firm payload in your Luma Payloads folder. So I'm going to go ahead and boot up 1.2.8. You could also use 1.2.C for this. As I said before, they have the same scripting feature. So I'm going to go ahead and hit A on it. Now that will boot us into God Mode 9. So we're looking at the bottom screen of God Mode 9 right now and what you want to do is it says home button for the home menu go ahead and press that it will bring up a little menu such as this and you'll go down to more dot 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 hit A and this is now where you want to find scripts dot 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 go ahead and hit A on scripts and you should see backup emunand and backup sysnand now, if you don't know what an emunand is, then you probably don't have it. No one really uses an emunand anymore. It's fairly uncommon the way that Luma works with our patched sysnand. So basically, you probably have a sysnand. So since you have a sysnand, I'm going to go ahead and hit A on backup sysnand. And it'll say create a sysnand backup in GM9 slash out and go ahead and hit A. Now, if you noticed on the older version of God Mode 9, before scripts were introduced, we had a GM9 out folder on the root of our SD card, but now everything God Mode 9 related goes into the GM9 folder, which inside you will find another folder called the out folder that would have your NAND backup in it. So I'll catch in with you guys in about 10 minutes when this finishes. So you can see my backup was created successfully. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the A button. Now that you're finished, go ahead and hold R and hit start to turn off your device and I will meet you guys up on the computer. You can either remove your SD card and insert it into an SD card reader, you can use micro SD management or you can even use an FTP client to do this. So we're up here on the computer and I'm using micro SD management to look at my 3DS's SD card. So what you want to do is navigate to the GM9 folder, go ahead and open it up and you should see an out folder. Now when you open this out folder you should see your sysnand. Now you'll probably have your serial number in front of it and it'll say sysnand underscore and then whatever number of sysnand backup that it is. So now what you want to do is take this and move it to a safe place. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it to my desktop and you could probably upload it to multiple places such as Google Drive or Mega just so that you have versions of it in the cloud in case something ever happened to your hard drive. So this is going to take a couple of seconds. I will catch in with you guys when it's done moving. So now my sysnand backup is moved safely onto my PC. You can go ahead and delete the one in your GM9 out folder. Now while we're in here, you might see an essential.exefs and you might wonder what this is. This is a essential backup that God Mode 9 made for the newest version and it asks you to make it when you first launch it. So if you happen to have that, you could probably back that up to your desktop as well, just in case. So now that you have your sysnam backed up, you're ready in case your system ever got bricked. You're pretty much as safe as you could ever be without having a hard mod. Up next, I'm going to show you guys how you can restore an old NAND backup. Now, just a few warnings. This will remove all of your CIAs that you installed until you reinstall the tickets afterwards. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that using TickShop. And then I'm also going to show you how to remove all the tickets that you don't need using TickSweep afterwards. Now this will also revert your Wi-Fi password to your previous one and it might even kick your parental controls on which is a strange thing that has happened to me before. Last but not least is if you lose all of your CIAs that you installed yourself on the home menu, you might lose access to FBI. Now if you have this, the homebrew version, that's fine. You should be able to still use your Rosalina's homebrew menu to get into it. So I can open N3DS sound here and it will allow me to go into the homebrew launcher still even after I restore my NAND. 
if you can't get into FBI that way, then what you're gonna wanna do is download the FBI CIA and then use my tutorial to inject it into the health and safety app. And then this will allow you to boot the health and safety app, open up FBI, and then use title database to install Tick Sweep as well as Tick Shop. You're also going to lose all of your save files that you had. They will be restored to the ones that you had when you made the NAND backup. So as to not lose any of your progress, what you're gonna to wanna to do is open up JKSM. Now I'm gonna show you how you can back up your saves using JKSM. Now the homebrew version might look a little bit different. I'll put links to both in the description. You could essentially inject this one if you wanted. This is the CIA version. The only real difference is SD slash CIA is called titles on the homebrew version. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down to SD slash CIA, hit okay. And now you should see all of your titles. I'm gonna go ahead and press the L button to select each one that I wanna back up. So I'm gonna choose all of my games by hitting L and you can see they turn red afterwards. And then all you need to do is press the Y button and it'll start backing up all of your saves once you press A. So I'm gonna press A and it's now copying all of my save files. Complete, so go ahead and hit A and then you can hit B a couple of times to exit and that's it, you've now backed up all your saves and you're pretty much ready to restore your NAND. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my system. If you wanted to restore a NAND backup, make sure you have your SD card open up on your computer. You can use micro SD management, you can use an SD card reader, or you can even use an FTP client. So on my desktop here, I have an 11.2 OG NAND min backup. Now this is the backup I made when I first custom firmware my 3DS and we're gonna restore it. I'm currently on 11.4 and we're gonna restore it to 11.2. So all I need to do is drag this to the root of my SD card. I don't really need the .sha, but I'm gonna go ahead and move it over anyway. So now my NAND backup has moved over to my SD card. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of micro SD management and I'll meet you guys down on the 3DS. If you put your SD card into an SD card reader, make sure you safely eject it before removing it. We're down here on the 3DS. I have my NAND backup on the SD card, but real quick, I just wanna boot into my system menu and show you guys what firmware I'm on currently. So as you can see, I'm on version 11.4.0-37. Now I know it sounds a little ridiculous, but if you're about to restore a NAND backup, it's probably good to have another NAND backup that isn't the one that you are restoring, just in case there was something wrong when you created that NAND backup and you try to restore it and it doesn't work. Now that my device is turned off, I'm gonna hold start and power it on, and I'm gonna hit A on God Mode 1.2.8. So what you guys are gonna do is navigate to your NAND min backup. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit SD card and I'm gonna scroll down to 11.2 OG NAND min bin. Now if you did add the NAND bin SHA, don't click on it, make sure it's the NAND min bin. I'm gonna go ahead and hit A on it. And then on the bottom screen, you should see NAND image options. Go ahead and hit A on that. And then what you wanna do is restore sys NAND bracket safe. Go ahead and hit the A button. It's gonna ask for a little key code from your input, so go ahead and press down, left, up, left, and A. And this isn't gonna erase your custom firmware. What you want to do is do this one more time now. Down, up, and then A. Now you can see I'm restoring my 11.2 OG NAND backup. From from when I first custom firmwared my 3DS. Now this is gonna take about six minutes it's saying, so I'll catch in with you guys in a second. Now that my NAND restoration is completed, I can go ahead and hit the A button to continue, and I'm just gonna hit B and not relock the permissions. So from here, all I have to do is restart my system, and I'm gonna be on 11.2. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the start button, so I've booted back into my home menu here and you can see I've literally lost all of my apps. Everything is gone. Absolutely everything is gone. I have the old eShop. I have a few virtual console games I purchased. But I still have 
my same theme on the background. How interesting is that? I'm going to go ahead and launch Nintendo 3DS Sound and see if Rosalina still has my homebrew in there. And ta-da! So the homebrew launcher still works. Being masked by Rosalina even after doing the NAND backup and not doing anything else. That is pretty awesome. And there's all my homebrew. Phew! I was pretty scared there for a minute, guys. So we're back here on my home menu. I'm going to go ahead and launch my system settings and see what firmware we're actually on now. And we're on 11.2.0. How freaking awesome is that? Oh man, I miss that number so bad. Oh my goodness. I, I might just hang out at 11.2 for a little bit. I'm not too sure. One last thing I just wanted to show you, if I go into my internet settings, even my internet has been reset to the password that I had before when I made the NAND backup, and for some reason parental controls are enabled. Now if this randomly happens to you, you can try this, it worked for me, I hit OK, and then it'll ask you to put in a pin, I just put in 1111, and I hit OK, and it allowed me to get in so I can set up my internet connection. Now that I've got my internet connection back, I'm going to go ahead and open up parental controls and change this so that I can get out of here. I don't have parental controls on any longer. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter in my 111. And what I'm going to go, do, go ahead and do is clear settings. And hopefully that will get rid of my parental controls. I'm gonna, so I'm going to go ahead and click on my internet here and seemingly we've gotten rid of the parental controls. That was a little weird glitch. So really quickly I'm going to show you how you can get some of your programs back by using a program called TickShop. So I'll put a link to TickShop in the description. You can also get it from Title Database inside FBI. Now if I go ahead and launch this, TickShop is going to go ahead and install all the tickets that were missing and when it's done, we should be able to access some of the CIAs that were on our SD card that we couldn't get to simply because our 3DS no longer had the ticket for them. And after this, I'm going to show you how you can use Tick Sweep to remove all the unused tickets that you're not using. Don't worry if you were expecting to see the percentage start rising. What it does is just puts a, net, a new percentage beside it depending on how far it is completed. So you can see I'm at 20% now. And there it goes, it's done. If it takes you into the eShop, just go ahead and exit out of it. And you can see all of my titles that I had before have now reappeared. So I've got my Zelda, Ever Oasis, Luigi's Mansion, and there we go. Now all that's left to do is sweep away all the tickets that we don't use using Tick Sweep. And then you could reinstall all your saves with JKSM and you would be good to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up Tick Sweep. So this is going to remove all the tickets that aren't currently being used by CIA. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the A button to remove them. Now this is going to take a few minutes so just let it do its thing and I'll catch in with you guys when it's done. And there you go. All your tickets have been removed except for the ones that you're using. So go ahead and hit the A button to exit. So now we have our NAND backup successfully restored and we've installed all the tickets that we were missing so our CIAs are working again. Last thing we need to do is reinstate all of our saves we made with JKSM. So go ahead and open up JKSM. So again, if you're on the homebrew version, you might not see cartridge in SD slash CIA. You'll probably see titles. Go ahead and hit titles if you're on that version. I'm going to go ahead and hit SD slash CIA. And now I'm going to use the L button to select all the titles that I want to restore saves for. So when you hit L on them, they will turn red and that will let you know that they are selected. When you've got them all selected, press the X button. Now see at the top it says earthbound save. You might not see that on the homebrew version. You might just see the date. So go ahead and hit A and assume that it's your first game. And then go ahead and hit restore. So you can see I restored earthbound. And now my next one says ever oasis. So I can go ahead and hit A on that. And you get the idea. It'll kind of cycle through them all. Just keep pressing the A button until you get to the very last save. And there we go. I've now reinstated all the saves I had before restoring my NAND backup. And I'm going to hit B a couple of times. And other than being on 11.2,
my 3DS looks identical to how it was before and everything is still working just the same. Let me know what version of firmware you guys are on or what is your favorite at the moment. I really love 11.2. It's going to be hard for me to update higher than this again now that I'm back on it. If you guys have any questions, make sure to go down in the comments and let me know. If you haven't slammed that thumbs up, what are you doing? Slam that thing already. And if you haven't subscribed again, why aren't you subscribed yet? For real, I will see you guys soon. Much love and peace.